Bo's birthday, he turned five. <laughs> he turned five. He got him so tired. Oh my goodness. The kids are almost getting ready. Almost about to leave for school. Ah. You know, Come put these clips in your hair. Hello. Right here. Put your head up. Not up like that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, are you going to wear your snow pants today? Or? I'm going to play the snow snow. Are you sure? Because it's kind of cold. Like, your legs are going to be cold. Like, you're wearing tights. You know what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So I was thinking, like, maybe... You might want to wear your snow pants so your, so your legs aren't cold. There we go. You look like a little butterfly princess. <laughs> so, we're not doing much for his birthday today. Today we're just going to have a cake for him, say happy birthday. And, you know, he's going to have a little present to open. And then on Saturday coming, because today's Wednesday, so then Saturday, um, he's going to have his birthday party. Um... With like you know cousins and family and all that good stuff but for right now it's just like you know because it's the middle of the week we're gonna say happy birthday to him give him a cake and um have him open a gift but yeah but right now they're getting ready for school so we gotta send them off morning jenna Hi. happy birthday rain thank you happy birthday Oh my goodness, how do you feel? It feels good. <laughs> I know, and you're gonna have a cake later? He looks like a three to me. Yeah, I know, I know. He's a really small five year old. Like, he's pretty small to be five. Five year boots. Like, what? Yeah, he's a shrimp. Yeah. It's okay. He's okay. okay. <laughs> You could put your hand in here, I guess. Come. That's a little weird. <laughs> I have to find your other your other backpack today. I don't know what's wrong with it. Come. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn his face towards you, lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Father God, I humbly come into your presence and ask that you take care of them, Lord God. Send your heavenly angels to watch over them, Lord God. I plead your precious blood upon their lives, Father God, and bring them home. Bring them back home safely. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Have a good day at school. Have a good day at school. It's your birthday today. <laughs> I love you. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye. So, you guys, it is, what time is it? <laughs> Yo, when I just did that, I just thought of Nicocado Avocado. But he's like, Jesus, reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> it is 8.38 p.m., you guys, and I just got the vlog up. Like, I need to like edit my vlogs on days that I'm not gonna post the video. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to start doing that because this is not working out for me. It really is not. Let me put some lip gloss on. And my hair looks a hot mess because I've been in my room this entire time. <laughs> you know? But Rainbow's birthday today. So I want to go say happy birthday to him. And Jenna got him a present. So I want to. Rain! It's, it's my birthday today. I know, Rain. Happy birthday. I'll just show you. Come. Where's all your toys? Oh, these are presents? Oh, nice presents. I got over oh there. <laughs> Jenna. You got this all at the store a second ago? Yeah. Jenna, you got that all at the store a second ago. So, can you guess who this is? Door. Door. And he then, is so fun in real life. <laughs> I got him. Ooh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Uh-huh, Rain. What else did you get? Uh-huh. Iron Man. Iron Man. And then he has... <gasps> Spider-Man. And a whole bunch of Jenna, you look slim. It's the black girl. <laughs> Shut up. I Jenna, how do you feel that your son's five? And... Guard 
Listen, raising kids is is very hard. Mm-hmm. And like you're responsible for them, so yep. I I've got all of them. I've been responsible for him for five years, and he's still alive. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> wow, man, is that your cake? Ooh, ooh. Howie, can't say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. Smile. Oh, my inner thighs are burning me. I don't know why. Yeah, like it's it. shaving. Right, like, oh, that hasn't happened in years. Jenna's like, it's probably because you're losing weight. <laughs> I wish. Hey, I don't think it might last. Um, but what else would it be? Because when your thighs are so thick, they don't shake. Like they don't like move. You know, they kind of just stick together. I don't know what's going on, but man. Inside, burning. This hat is garbage now, okay? It's broken. Open the garbage can. It's broken. Why? What happened to it? Throw it in the garbage. What? What? Why are you doing that to him? Why are you doing that to my hat? <laughs> because in the, in the front, the wool is pulling, so this looks like it has curly hair. Oh! <laughs> Rain, it's okay, it's broken. Nova! The other one. Hurry up, girl, hurry up. Okay, ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Rainbow. My only cousin, I love you. Happy birthday to you! I still love you. Woo! 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 Okay, boys, blow your candles. Blow your candles. Blow your candles. Say a prayer. Yay! Woo! Okay, Rain, here's your cake. Try it. Mmm, is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I wasn't even gonna vlog this, but she's struggling Yo, to get the corned beef open. open corn beef, I hate when it opens so stupid. How am I supposed <laughs> to turn it? I can't turn it. <laughs> it's okay, Jenna. You can do it. You guys, I'm just here cooking up the purple onions and some garlic. It's about to burn though, I'm gonna turn the stove down. Like, why is it open so easy? Look, look, look. <laughs> wow, how are you gonna get that out? Oh, Shana! You're wasting the meat! That's your concern? Don't hurt yourself, please. Are you getting it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just here folding some laundry for my sister. She asked me if I could just do her laundry for her and I said, okay, I will. Why not? You gonna pay me? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I really be like, girl, pay me some money and I'll do it, you know. <laughs> But true, she did my nails. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do that for you. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I was just here, you know, spending time with God and just like talking to him, you know. That's the best way to like do it, you know. It's like, of course, like, you know, you see people and they're praying and they're, you know, saying all the right things and they just sound so holy, you know. They just sound so holy. But sounding holy, not that they're not you know, have the right, you know, the right heart posture. Because they do. Some of them do. But you don't have to sound holy to say a good prayer or to say a prayer that God will listen to. Sometimes it's all about just talking to him. Just talking to him. I talk to him all the time. Sometimes, you know, I do get into the state where I'm like, okay, no, I'm, I'm praying. Where I'm just like, you know, Father God, you know, and I'm praying. But then other times I just... 
I sit in my room and I look out to the sky and I just talk to him. I talk to him like it's, like how I'm talking to you guys. I talk to him like how I would talk to my mom, like how I would talk to my my sister, you know, my best friend. But today I was talking to him, you guys, and when I was talking to him, I was talking to him as my Lord and Savior, you know, because I'm a member of the 2819 church, okay? I don't live in Atlanta, but I attend the church every Sunday all the Sundays that I can. If I'm not, if there's not something pulling me away purposely where it's like I cannot get out of it, I am watching the service 100%. Pastor Philip Anthony Mitchell is an amazing pastor. His wife, Lena, is just an amazing woman. And I just, I just love that at that church, it's, you know, it's being spoken the word of God. And I'm saying all this is because one time I was watching the service and he was saying that how, you know, his daughter... One of his daughters, um, she was praying and he had to like kind of stop her and say, hey, like remember who you're praying to. Remember that you're not, you know, you're not just praying to some being, you know, because you have to. Remember whose presence you're, you're coming into right now. Remember who you're addressing. And when he said that, I was like, ooh, that is so true. Sometimes when we pray, you guys, we be forgetting who we're, who we're praying to, who we're speaking to. We're speaking to God. We're speaking to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're speaking to the, the author of the past, present, and future. We're, we're speaking to the King of this universe. The one who made everything. The one who made you. So after I heard that, I was just like, you know what? That is so true. And ever since then, when I pray or when I speak to God, when I speak to my Lord, you know, when I speak to my Savior, I make sure... But I take a second, I take a moment to realize who I'm speaking to. And I'm not just coming up on, on someone, like I'm coming up on my friend and saying, hey, what's up? Like, no, I'm not just coming up on God saying, hey, what's up? I'm coming up on the king. You know what I mean? So anyways, <laughs> back to why I wanted to say that was because when I was praying to him today, a lot of the times I realized that like when we pray, sometimes we don't say how we're feeling. Like as if God can't hear us, like he can't hear our thoughts so i've been practicing like when i'm praying if anything comes upon my heart and i feel like oh maybe i shouldn't say that or maybe i shouldn't ask that or maybe i shouldn't question that i go ahead and i ask him because he already knows what i'm thinking but i might as well just ask him you know i might as well just say it out loud and have a real honest true conversation with him i don't want to keep hiding things from him you know so when i was uh praying with him today and i was talking to him i addressed him as you know, King of King and Lord of Lord and Lord of Lords, but I also addressed him as my Heavenly Father. I really put myself there, you guys, that this is my Father that I'm speaking to. This is the one and only person that has my true, deepest, best interest at heart. He loves me so much, he died on the cross to save me from my sin. He sacrificed his son for me. This is the one person. This is who I need to be. You know, when you have parents, you're like, oh, I don't want to disappoint my parents. This is the person. This is the God. This is the only God who I should be thinking I don't want to disappoint. So when I came to Nintendo, I was praying, you guys, tears were flowing down. Because I don't have an earthly father. And he is better than earthly fathers. But I don't have an earthly father. But I have him. I have a heavenly father who is better than all the earthly fathers. So it's like... Just the, just really knowing that just put tears in my eyes and just so much joy in my heart to know like I don't have someone that I can call dad. That I can go to with my problems that, you know, that I could fear out of respect. That I could, you know what I mean? You know when you have a dad? I don't have that here on earth. But I have a heavenly father. Who is better than any of those dads here on earth, you know? And with that thought, you guys, it just made me so happy. It made me so, so happy. And I just started thinking about all the goodness that God, you know, is. How good he is. How much he loves me. I started thinking about all the things he's blessed me with. I started thinking about just this earth, the air that I breathe. How he woke me up this morning. How I get to look at and feel the sun. I get to, you know, look at the beautiful flowers. I get to enjoy nature. I started thinking about, I get to hear music. My ears work. My eyes can see. My head can move. My hands and feet can walk and move. And I can grab for things. I started thinking about my mobility. I started thinking about Every single thing. I start to think about my daughter so healthy. I start to think about how I have a child. I start to think about how my mother's here with me today. You guys, I start thinking about everything. 
and how good God is because everything good that we have comes from God. No one else but God. You know, it's crazy. People don't want to be with God. People don't want to be around God. People don't want anything to do with God, but they want all the benefits of God. And everything good, all the things that you're experiencing in this world that feels good, that, that is good, that, that is love, that is happiness, is God. So today when I was praying to my Heavenly Father, to my dad, tears came to my eyes and I just had to say thank you, dad. Thank you so much, father, for everything. You were so good to me and you love me so much and I love you and I thank you. So that's what I, I just had to put that, I just had to drop that on you guys today because, oh, we have to stop treating God like a genie, guys. We have to stop treating him like a genie and we have to treat him for who he is, you know, have respect for him. Know that he's the king and the king is coming back soon. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that we, we got to really lock in with God, you guys. We got to lock in with him sometimes. <laughs> But, um, what time is it? Okay, so today I'm supposed to be going to this event. Uh, this L'Oreal's having an event and I'm supposed to be going. It starts, I can, well, it says you can pop in from anywhere from 6 to 8 o'clock. So I'm probably going to like go there for like 6.30. You know what I mean? So I'll probably leave my house like around 6 o'clock. I'll probably leave my house at 6. You guys, I don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't know how I'm going to do my hair. I think I want to do my hair in like a ponytail. And like maybe like a piece coming down to the side. I'm not sure. I'm going to bring my niece with me. I was supposed to bring my sister with me. My sister Nicole. But I totally forgot that I promised my niece that I would bring her to the next event that I go to. So sorry Nikki. I can't bring you. <laughs> sorry girl. I can't bring you. I got to bring my, my niece. I got to bring Hallie. Um, but yeah. So that is what we'll be doing today. So after I fold this laundry. I have another uh, batch in the dryer to fold for my sister. My sister Jenna, <laughs> and then um, I'm going to start getting ready. I guess you know, start figuring out some things. Probably do my hair, you know, get ready slowly. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Hey guys, <laughs> I know I'm coming out here like half makeup done, but I did my hair for the event. It's a chill event. It's not like um like anything special. I don't think you know. It's just like a you know a normal event, just like showing us some new things that they're coming out with and all that stuff. I don't think it's anything like you know extravagant or whatever. Um, so I did my hair in this like first I did it in a ponytail and I was like, ooh, I have to wash my clippings. They look a little bit rusty. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to put it in a bun and then I put it in a bun and then I was like, ooh, I look like a grandma, kind of. <laughs> so then I put it in this like flip bun fan out type thing and I feel like this is a good medium for me. Like I feel like this, I can deal with, you know? So I started doing my makeup. I'm about to finish up. I'm just watching um, Pretty Basic right now on my computer. I'm like, you know what? Best thing to do is listen to a podcast as I'm getting ready. What time is it? It is... 4.15, I want to leave out of here by 6.15, the latest. So I think I'm on time, I got two hours. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to finish my makeup. And then I'm going to, I'm wearing something super casual, you guys. Like I'm gonna wear, basically what I wore to the mall in my last video. I'm gonna wear some tights, I'm gonna wear a black shirt, my puffer vest, some uh, some sneakers, you know, I'm gonna make it look cute though, make it look cute, um, it's like casual, casual, I'm not gonna call it casual dressy, <laughs> it's casual, it's casual, so we heard something casual, um, I, it's, it's gonna look good, it's gonna look good. Okay, 
so this is the face you guys this is the face for the evening oh i got a text message who is this okay how is just texting me asking when she should get ready i'm like get ready now because it's about what time is it it's 5 15 so we have to leave here in about an hour um yeah so i told you i'm just gonna wear something like super casual um uh, yeah because like sometimes um like events will tell you like what to wear but then you know other times they don't you know so like it's not like they're saying like you have to come dress like this so i think it's a casual thing because if you had to dress up like if you had to dress up then they'd be like okay yeah you gotta dress up you know what i'm saying so i don't think it's a dress up thing but um yeah so this is my hair i did this little flip thingy because i just I don't know, I just felt like I needed to wash these um, clip-ins and like the ponytail just like wasn't really doing it for me, to tell you the truth. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna just slip it up and yeah, because I don't want to be like out and then like thinking about the ponytail and wondering if like the person behind me thinks that it looks like a rat tail. I don't want that to be happening to me. So I'm like, let me just flip this up in a bag, you know, flip this up, whatever. And yeah, oh, I gotta wash my hands. Oh my gosh, look at my nails from all the makeup. Ugh. Yeah, but I like it though. Like, I really do like it. I think it's cute. I think that this will not bother me. Um, I won't be thinking about my hair, which is good. So yeah, I like it. Okay guys, so this is what I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm just wearing these shoes. I forget where I got them from, but I got them from like Foot Locker or something. Boyfriend got me those shoes. <laughs> I'm wearing just tights with this puffer vest I got from Shein. Bag is from Aldo, shirt is from Shein, and face by my mama. <laughs> you look so cute. You Thank look you. very trendy and very young and fresh. I'll see you guys there.
Oh, she's so gorgeous! Hey, you guys need to follow her socials and support, support, support. She's an amazing human being. And the things she's done for us black girls, amazing. Okay, just amazing. You guys are already following the queen, so I know you have a So now you just have to follow it up. We just left the event and I think our Uber is here. Just, I think it's him, right? Hi, come over here. What are they doing? The mask right behind him. Come. Okay, he's not coming. So I think we're just going to walk over to him. You have my phone, right, Hallie? Is that him? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yep, that's me. Thank you. Got my phone. Perfect. Okay, guys, we got into the Uber, as you saw. Oh, but it was nice, though. I had fun. Had a good time. Had a good time, Hallie? Yeah. That's you can't see me. I know. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back at the house. Alright, guys, so I'm back home, and I'm highly, highly annoyed. So, I went to the event. The event was nice. I really enjoyed myself. It was fun. I saw a couple people that I was like, haven't seen in so long and I was like so happy to see them I'm like yes like you guys are so beautiful I love your content like I'm so happy to see you guys I'm so happy but like when coming to like the products now so I left a little bit early like it was gonna finish at 8 o'clock and I think me and Hallie left at like 7 45 ish you know because we're like it's gonna finish in like 15 minutes let's just go home sometimes when you're at the event longer while they're like closing up like they'll let you take things home from like the countertops and stuff I almost feel like I wanted I, I should have stayed and the reason why I'm saying that is because there was okay there was three like products that they were like three basically three product lines that they were like promoting okay and when I saw them I was so happy because I was like oh I'm gonna get them in my goodie bag like I'm gonna get it in my goodie bag <sighs> what's wrong you guys the first little boot thing that I saw they were talking about one product, got it. Love that for myself. I was like so happy. Love that. You guys saw when, like, you know, they're talking about the vitamin C, changing the little colors and tube. I was like, oh, cool. Vitamin C. Then you guys saw me when I, you know the girl putting in the cream and the balls and the little tube thingy. The little, uh, you know, beads, ball beads thing. And I was like, oh, cool. Got that. Super happy. Now, when coming to the last one, there was three products, okay? It was like a little set that they were showing us. It was like an eye set, like an eye cream, a face cream, and then another cream to lock it all in. You guys, it was a purple set. I was so excited for that set. So excited, you guys. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, I, when I seen it, I was like, yes, we're going to get this in the goodie bag. Because, like, normally when they show you stuff there, they give it to you in a goodie bag to go home with, right? I'm like, yes, we're going to get it. Like, mmm. Why did I open the bag and didn't see it but found this? Reduces the look of wrinkles. Do I got wrinkles? You guys, I don't have wrinkles. Firms the skin? I mean... I don't know. I personally don't like using things like this because I'm like, my face isn't needed, it doesn't call for right now. So I'm always worried like, oh, I'm going to cause those things to happen or I'm going to like cause something to, for my skin to happen. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys can tell me in the comment box. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I could use it now and it'll prevent it from like, you know, later on. But I'm highly annoyed. Like, I really wanted that, you guys. I almost feel like they like probably ran out of it. 
And that's the reason why they just threw this in the bag and said, okay, we'll just give the people them those two and we'll just throw this in the bag. That last one, and it looks expensive. Like it looks not, and I'm not saying that I want it because it's expensive, but it looked expensive. Like I'm, I want it so bad that I'm gonna go buy it. I don't know if that was the that was like the plan, but I want it so bad that now I'm gonna go buy it. And I, and it looked expensive, so now I'm like, is it gonna be forty dollars for one like one product? I know how mad you are. I'm so disappointed, you guys. I really wanted that. I'm just gonna give this to like I don't know my mom or something, you know. But like, not that my mom has wrinkles, mom. You know, you know, you look fabulous, mom. But I mean, like, it more calls for someone her age, you know, like. <laughs> what? I'm so mad. Why did I didn't give you that? It's not like you have wrinkles. <laughs> you don't know that. Anyways, I'm home now. Other than that, other than being like. Oh my goodie bag! Let's go see what I got in my goodie bag. Like, other than that, I had a really good time. It was good vibes. It was nice. I had fun. But I'm just so disappointed I didn't get that, you guys, because I feel okay, like mama. that. Like, you guys heard me in the video. I'm like, you guys heard me when I was there. I was like, oh, like skincare videos are gonna be on it. I mean, I got these two, but I'm so sad. Oh, I just know if I stayed, maybe if I stayed, they would have just get because there was a whole bunch on like the displays. If I stayed, they probably would have just gave it to us. They probably would have just been like, because one time I went to a Knicks event and they just gave it to us. They were like, oh, you can have it. And we're like, okay. And I got so much extra lip glosses because they just gave us up the lip gloss from like the shelves. Oh, I'm so mad. They probably did that. You know what? I don't know if they did. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself and say that they did and hurt myself because I don't know if they did, but they probably did. <laughs> <sighs> okay, you guys. I changed back into my house shirt. I have to take this off though because I got gel all over it mm. so now we're in this bed <laughs> but i do need to take off my makeup but oh my goodness you guys i did notice something though <laughs> i looked online because i'm like you know how i was just like you know badgering about how oh you know like let me just zoom you guys like zoom in a little bit you know how I was just badgering about the fact that like, oh, they didn't even give it to us. Like, we didn't even have it. They gave me some like aging cream. Like, why would they do that? You girl. Why is that whole three line that I was just bawling about, about aging cream too? It's to stop wrinkles from like, the whole line is about revite. The same thing. The same thing I just said. The same thing I just read on the red box is the same thing. What the other three that I was just crying about is all about. Wrinkles and stuff. So I guess I am wrong. I guess you could use wrinkle cream and all that other stuff early, I guess. I don't know. Because when they were talking about it, they didn't talk about it and say anything about wrinkles. I saw that it said things about wrinkles online. Like, the description of it, you know? But they didn't say anything about it, like... When I, the girl was explaining it to me. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Oh. Oh, I feel so good taking off your lashes. Whew. Okay. Time to take this makeup off. I'm not going to wash my hair. I'm just going to like rinse my hair out. Hopefully that's okay. Because I have a lot of products in my hair again, so... I'm not gonna wash it. I'm just gonna rinse it out and see what happens. You guys know I love using the Garnier. Uh, makeup remover for this oh but you know what though I'm not gonna use this this time I do have a clean and clear one that I want to try this is the clean and clear foaming facial cleanser designed to wash away dirt oil and makeup without over drying oh so maybe I should use this after I remove the makeup from my Garnier yeah I'm gonna try it and see yeah so this is the one I bet I have but I've been saying like I'm gonna try it but I haven't tried it though I'm gonna try this one afterwards and see how it feels on my skin and let you guys know what I think. Cleanse your skin with cleanse, clean and clear essential foam and facial cleanser to wash away oil, dirt, and all that stuff. Ah, so it goes one, which is the one I just read you guys, and then it goes two, which is like the pimple thingy that I used the last vlog. And then three. This is what I use in the daytime, you guys. Um, when I wash my face in the morning. But I didn't know it was like that. So it goes one, two, 
three. Hmm. Good to know. I don't know how I'm buying things that I'm not even reading them. Like, what's wrong with me? But I will say, though, you guys, that, like, I miss this. Like, I do. Like, I was there, and I just felt like this is, like, I'm not going to say it felt like home, but it felt like home. Like, I did have, like, you know, a little bit of, like, you know, anxiety, and, like, there were so many people there, and... I, sometimes I did feel out of place, but like, it felt like, to me, it felt like how it felt when I first was starting out with like being an influencer, and I went and I, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm here, like I'm here, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, but then like I was still uncomfortable, but like I embraced being uncomfortable because I knew that this is what I was like working for. That's what it felt like tonight, you know? <laughs> I, don't know, I just feel like I lost out on so many opportunities, you guys, because of my depression. When I'm away, sometimes, like, yeah, things are going out with me that I don't tell you guys about, but a lot of the times, you guys, I fall into, like, a deep depression. Like, I'm just really depressed, and I just don't want to do anything. I feel like I just, I don't know, I just feel like I let a lot of opportunities just, like, slip away from me. Because I just been so depressed, I just been along with the devil to just keep me in this like state of like depression, you know. I don't know, but all I know is that <sighs> what the devil takes and steals or whatever. The devil can't even steal anything really. He only could delay. The devil could only delay things. He can't really steal things from you, because what's given to you by God will always be yours, you know. So I just have to have faith that whatever the devil did delay that God will just, you know, restore back into my life tenfold. And I also talked a little bit about it with Sasha, Flaza Couture, uh, the girl who was wearing the blue puffy, you guys know who she is, so how could you not know who she is? But the girl who was wearing the puffy blue, like the fluffy blue jacket, she was just like, you know what, girl, like, all in God's timing, all in God's timing. Like, don't feel no way. Like, you know, it's so crazy. She asked me how I was doing. And I remember, like, when I first started to, like, get into my, into my depression, sorry, that was, like, the end of 2019. I started to really hit back into my depression again. And she kind of knew a little bit about it because I was talking to her about it. But, man, like, she remembered and she asked me how I was doing. I just thought that was so nice, you know, because she had a lot going on herself you know like she has her own life she's so successful now she's grown so much within the last five years and just the fact that she remembered like you know i remember something was going on with her and she asked me how i was doing and it was just really nice to like you know to see someone to have someone remember that i'm going through these things and like ask me how i'm doing especially someone like her you know like she cared about how I was doing. She could've just been like, oh, hey girl, and just walked away. You know, I could've been like, hey girl, and just kept the surface level, but she really was like, how are you, like, how are you, you know? Shout out to you, Sasha, I love you, girl. You are so sweet, and I love her sister, too. Her sister's name starts with a D, I, for I always forget her name. I always forget her name, but she's so sweet, and I'm gonna make it my mission to remember her name, because she is so sweet. Like, I feel like if we and her, like, if we, became friends we'd be super close I don't know why I just feel like we would get along very well like I know I would get along with Sasha but I feel like her sister though like I feel like I would get along with her sister very well too I don't know but yeah anyways shout out to both of you guys you guys are such dolls so beautiful and so sweet and you guys made me feel so comfortable like I felt a little out of whack when I was there but when I bumped into you guys you guys made me feel so comfortable I just want to say thank you so much for that like you guys are so sweet god bless you guys like Thank you. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got out the shower and I feel amazing, amazing. Like taking a shower at the, <laughs> that was screaming at rain. Taking a shower at the end of the day makes me feel so good. Like, ooh, so good. But I used some of that face stuff that I got today from L'Oreal and it feels amazing on the skin. It smells good. Mm, I just have to, rain's crying. I just have to see how it does with my skin but so far so good i'm loving it all right guys and we are at the end of the video <laughs> oh, today was a good day today was a very good day 
I feel like I was very productive. I got outside of my comfort zone and I went somewhere that I was like, you know, kind of nervous about going and I went and I had a good time and I have no regrets about going and I don't know, I just feel very proud of myself lately, you guys, because I'm doing the things that I say I wanna do. Now, next up is I really wanna have like a routine set for myself, you guys. I wanna start getting up early and working out. I wanna really, really, really lock in on like a, a Pacific diet for myself when coming to my pizza. PCOS, something that's going to just thrive for me 100%, um, something that's going to just, you know, really get a jump start on my weight loss, you know, just health, you know, I just want to feel healthy. I don't feel healthy and I don't like that. I don't like that I don't feel healthy. I, I want to feel healthy inside. That's like my number one goal you know it's not even really about vanity reasons like of course i want to look good i mean i already look good but of course i want to like you know look you know a certain way but i definitely want to feel a certain way and i just want to have like a routine and i want to have like control over just my health and just really do what i gotta do you know what i mean but um yeah okay so um, let's do Bible verse of the day. <laughs> and by oh, you want to do Bible verse of the day, Nova? Yeah. Okay, then like, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get under the covers like the big comfy couch. <laughs> <laughs> Bible verse of the day is Second Corinthians five seventeen, and it reads: This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. Amen. The old life has gone and a new life has begun. It's like a past you. But mm -hmm. new. Exactly. So this verse is so true. When I thought that I was you know, I wouldn't say saved because mm, maybe I would say saved. When I thought that I knew God and I thought that like, you know, I was living a good life. Like I was, you know, I thought like, you know, I, yeah, I, I guess you could say I thought that I was saved. I thought that I was, you know, living for God. I thought when I would do certain things, I would never feel convicted for it. I would never feel bad for doing those things. Sin felt the exact same. You know what I mean? Like I would do, I would say that I love God. I would say that I'm, you know, reading my Bible. I would say that I'm, you know, saved. But when I would continue the sin that I was doing at the time, it felt exactly the same. Now I know that there is Christ, that Holy Spirit is living inside of me. I know now who my Heavenly Father is and I know now my identity in Christ because now sin does not feel the same at all. I really am truly a new creation. I cannot sin anymore and it feel good. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, like okay, like for one, music. Like before when I was like saying that I was saved, saying that like, oh, you know, I love God, whatever. I would still listen to like secular music. And yeah, I still listen to secular music. And like not saying that all secular music is bad, but I was still listening to certain music, like, you know, with sexual sin in it, with gun violence, with, you know, just profanity, and it never really bothered me. And, and um, bad words, or like saying that I'm a bitch about Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it never really bothered me. And now, I, oh, I can't listen to it at all. I cannot listen to it at all, you guys. It hurts my soul. And because I'm a new creation in Christ too, I want to go deeper into knowing things. So now that I know that some of these people that I used to listen to before, is they're, they're whole witches, they're whole warlocks, they're sacrificing children, they are piles, they are practicing it's time sin. For you to hear the truth. Yeah, they're practicing sin, everything. So when I decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna live for Christ and I, I I wanted to know more. I was thirsty for him. I'm still thirsty for him, but I was so thirsty. I wanted to know everything. I wanted all of the deception, the lies that the enemy has told me. I wanted them gone. I wanted them gone. I wanted to know what was truth and what was a lie. And when I did that, sorry no, but I gotta get this out. <laughs> when I did that, the things that I found out Oh my goodness. Now I can, if I go back, if I fully go back and just say I am turning my back on God, I'm a wicked person. I'm an evil person because of all the truth that I know now, you know? Okay, no, but. Like, like these like celebrities 
are eating like eating like pigeon blood and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they're doing like yeah, they're animal like sacrificing. Bear, yeah, they're like a bear hunt. Yeah, they're like doing animal sacrificing to the devil, literally yeah, just for their just, fame and fortune. Just, and like, so that's for example, yeah. music, like, you know, a lot of things, sexual sin, everything, um, lying. I never used to, I used to lie like a white liar. I used to be like, oh yeah, Nova sick or, uh, you know, to get other things. Or I would be like, oh yeah, um, I can't because I'm not feeling good. I'm sicker. Before I would be like, oh, I shouldn't say that because, you know, karma. By the way, karma is demonic. Um, I would be like, oh, you know, karma. What if Nova really gets sick? What if I really get sick? Now it's like I'm lying and I don't want to lie because the devil is a liar and he's the father of all lies and I don't want to be anything like him. So I, it's like the reasons to why now are so different. Like gossiping. Oh my goodness, I cannot gossip anymore. As soon as I gossip, I while I'm gossiping, I get convicted so fast. Like I'm like, ooh. Let me stop. No, this is not good. I need to stop gossiping. The little things, everything that I was still doing before that I just did not see anything wrong with it. This world is so evil. I see something wrong with it now. So this Bible, you're right. This world is very evil. <laughs> but don't worry. God's making a new heaven and earth. Okay? A okay. new heaven and earth. There's and it's going to be with no sin in it. And it's going to be way better than this. So when it says, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. Amen to that. The old is gone and the new has begun. Once you are saved and you really decide you want to live for Christ, you cannot be the same anymore. I'm not saying you're not going to trip up. That's all I'm saying. I trip up still, you guys. But it's not the same. I'm not, I don't trip up and stay in the fall. You know what I mean? Like, I don't step in poop or, and or, I don't live in poop, basically. Or, Remember or, I told you? Yeah. Like, or you trip and you just stay on the ground. Yeah. Now when I trip, I get up, pick up my cross, and I move forward. I keep going. And it's not saying that, oh, you know, I'm, I tripped. Okay, I'm going to go tomorrow and trip again. I'm going to go tomorrow and trip again. I'm going to go. No, I actively try to not trip and fall again. And if for some reason I do trip and fall again... I get up, I dust myself off, and I pick up my cross and I go and I try again. You know what I mean? How I thought I was before when I thought I loved God and I thought that I was like, you know, a you know, a person living in Christ, I I didn't know nothing. And I know it now because now I see that Christ lives in me, truly lives in me. The Holy Spirit truly lives in me. And I'm a new creation. And yeah, that's it. So I love that Bible verse. <laughs> Nova? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, you're tired, huh? I'm listening to you. I know. You. We gotta go to sleep. We have school tomorrow. Guys, I have this math test. Do you think I'm gonna do you think I'm gonna get it? Yeah, she has a math test tomorrow. I'm really scared. Don't worry. You're learning. You're just learning math now. You're going to do good. And even if you do make a mistake and you don't do that well, it's okay. I'm not, don't worry about mommy. Mommy's not going to be mad at you. Because I know you're trying. You know I'm what I mean? I'm trying. I don't know. Like, sometimes I forget what the answer is. It's okay. I know that you're trying, okay? And I'm going to be proud of you. With whatever mark you get, I saw that you were studying today, and I was very proud of you. And if you get a bad mark, God forbid, we will beat that. <laughs> um, <laughs> then we can practice some more, and you can do better the next time, okay? So don't worry about it, okay? Stop worrying. Mm -hmm. Worrying is worship to the devil. By you worrying, is it going to change anything? No. So you're just torturing yourself for no reason. <laughs> I know, I should okay. stop. Don't worry. You're not supposed to worry. You're supposed to have faith and trust in God. And pray to God and be like, God, please help me with my test. Please help me to remember the answers that I studied for. <laughs> okay? Okay. You'll be fine. Okay. All right, guys. So we love you all. Sorry, I just like did like five takes of like me saying, okay, guys. I, I got that. And I was just like... Wait, okay. Are you okay? You're uh, glitching, okay. girl. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Anyways. Okay, guys. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to comment down below in the comment box. And 
and uh, talk to us. Let's chat it up in the comments, guys. Um, don't forget to follow my socials. I love you guys so much. We love you guys so much. And we will see you guys in the next video. Okay? I'll see you. Bye, guys.